All right, so you've already made a Replistrator V2 or Replistrator uh, V1. Um, if you've seen the other video how to load the Replistrator version one, um, it's pretty straightforward. The Replistrator V2, it's a higher performance, uh, more versatile syringe pump. And uh, it's meant to work with pretty much any regular like 10 ml down to one ml or even like much smaller syringe um, that you can imagine. Uh, and that's probably the one you're gonna want is this one. Uh, let's say you've already printed it and assembled it and put it on a MakerBot re Replicator 2 like this one or a PrinterBot um, and you wanna load it with a syringe full of, I don't know, some sort of bioprinting or soft materials ink. What you're going to do is you need to have the Replistrator on here in the open position. So there's that lever arm action. You want it, you want it to be open like that. And you also want the clutch uh, to sit on the end of the lead screw. Now, however much ink you have in the syringe is gonna determine how high your plunger is. If your plunger is all the way up there, you're gonna need to raise the lead screw and the clutch along with it until they sit just on the top of this if you put it inside the printer. So I'm going to assume that this is filled up to about one ml. Let's see right there. And I'm gonna load it into this printer. So right now I see there's a little bit of uh, overlap between the clutch and the uh, head of the plunger if I try and put it in here. So what I'm gonna do is raise up the clutch and the lead screw together. The clutch is gonna wanna thread out of the lead screw. That's okay, you can raise up the lead screw quite a bit first and then kind of put the syringe in. Don't worry, it's gonna not wanna go in. Just If you have the right adapter in there, you'll be able to force it in and it'll click in place. That's on purpose. It's supposed to hold it relatively well until you uh, bring down the lever arm. So now you've got the clutch. You need to put that on top of the plunger. That's a pretty straightforward thing. Slide it in there thread the lead screw through it, and then you're gonna to wanna to bring the lead screw into the actual plunger of the syringe. And thread it down until it bottoms out. And then you're gonna to wanna to tighten the clutch. Remember righty tighty, or in other words, clockwise will tighten it. Okay, now, Everything's loaded and ready to go. Um, I'm going to assume if you're bioprinting that you'll have a nozzle stuck to the end of the syringe. What you're gonna do now is just bring down the lever arm. That's going to prime the syringe. Oh, if you have ink, a little bit of it'll leak out of the uh, syringe tip. Uh, but this'll put everything in compression so it removes play from the system and uh, your replicator should be ready to work now. Um, that's it, that's all there is to it. If you want to take the syringe out, it's the opposite of putting it in. You have to raise the lever arm, loosen the clutch, and then back the lead screw out, and then just pull the syringe horizontally out of the uh, replicator. So that's all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just let us know. Uh, message me or Adam Feinberg. Uh, but yeah, hope this works well for you. A uh, couple things about this syringe pump that you might want to know. Um, it can break because it's, it's a more complicated design, uh, but it tends to work a lot better, is more reliable, um, and it's a lot easier to use than our Replistruder version one. And as such, we've replaced pretty much all our Replistruders with this version two. Um, no, there's no need for you to print out of all sorts of different colors or plastics. You can print it all out of PLA if you want. Um, you may have to scale parts up and down depending on your settings in your printer, um, but it should all go together relatively easily. And I think all the parts that we use, like the, the bolts and the nuts, we were able to get them from McMaster Car. So that should be a good source for you if you need some place to go. Home Depot might even have them. Yeah, that's all there is to it. So there's the Rebel Streeter version 2, primed and ready to work.